Hello everyone, this is the third video of the RPG game I was working on. And as you can see, this is a different zone, actually a different sector. This is the second sector of the first zone. As you can see, it's a desert. And I'm just standing next to a uh, signpost there. And I decided I should show you guys the, you know, just smaller zones instead of uh, having you guys sit in there and watching only one zone or it's two zones I mean I showed you the third zone which is behind me and we're gonna take a take a walk to the first zone because I'm gonna show you the new stuff that I mentioned in the bulletin as you can see I got a minimap yeah there we go a minimap Didn't take me that long to actually implement the uh, the scripts for that. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a bug within the minimap script itself. It doesn't show some of the uh, you know models. As you can see, it doesn't show you the uh, the cave model in the minimap. Well, I've been uh, I, th I didn't know if it was a Unity bug or something that I have to figure it out myself. As you can see the effects once you enter a cave, it becomes foggy and uh, this cave is not that great but it just it was quickly put together by me. There we go the fog clears and we're back to the first zone. Blah 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 the old one. Yeah I totally forgot to show you guys the uh, the pond. It doesn't have a water effects. I did not add it yet. Because uh, I don't want to, I don't want the game to, you know, take up lots of uh, space and uh, have it slow down my game while I'm testing it in in the editor windows. So I did not add any water effects or any particle systems except that portal in the last video I showed you guys. And there we go. And as you can see, the NPCs does have an overhead name display on them, and so you can now distinguish between each NPCs by their name, and and they do have a uh, tooltip if you hover over them. Some of the new functionality I I actually reworked on the GUI system, so the store manager actually the the store window looks a bit more better I would say it's uh, better than the last time I, the, the last store window that you saw in the last few videos there we go this is uh, as you can see this is a much better version of the general store the store windows and you can buy it unfortunately I do not have any money at the moment so if you try to buy it it says inf insufficient fund that sucks Anyway, let's uh, get some money by taking some quests. Yep, the quest window got some upgrades as well. As you can see, the uh, the borders changed. Oh, I totally forgot to uh, get that uh, the title to be a bigger font, but uh, that was my, my mistake. We'll be fixed next time. Let's get to these quests, and there we go. And the quest log has changed a bit as well. And the quest logs, not the quest log doesn't show you the tooltip, but the quest windows do now. Uh, and actually, you know what? let's finish this quest and get some money. And you know, same old quest, just knocking quest. Then they don't have any overhead display saying the quest is complete or any you know question mark or exclamation marks or anything. But in the future they will. And as you can see, those do have tooltips you hover over them and let's finish and we got 100 gold let's just buy some potions uh, well, that, that's enough because we don't have any use for mana potions at the moment no spells just one click and attack spell and one of the cool features is the enemies uh, I totally forgot to mention I need, didn't know if you noticed that if you click on an NPC they do have a target ring underneath them. It's green for friendly characters and red for enemies. It's a cool effect. 
and the enemies you can tab target and they do have overhead name display and a health bar and they do have their target indicator underneath the mob itself and as you can see I'm attacking him and I there we go that's what I was looking for loot now you can loot them the classic sparks and if you right click on them loot window shows and you can uh, do a tooltip and you can take all or just you know just click one by one it'll loot and then the quest I mean in the chat window it updates you have looted a basic mana potion and I'm not gonna kill the rest of the mobs there because I'm gonna show you uh, the main feature I implemented in the last few days which is is the character window there you go it this is the character window and it shows strength I gave in, in initially 10 for each stats and strength agility willpower blessing stamina and armor and each each stat updates the uh, internal attributes as you gain them to show you guys how it works I quickly put together a demo which is a box right there in the corner and these these buttons increase each stat this is just a demo so don't panic it's, this is not the way you're gonna gain uh, each stats and I can uh, actually you know what let's just uh, show you guys how it works first I'm just gonna go to an enemy and attack him I'll show you the, how armor works and I will increase the, I'll, I'll bring up the uh, character screen and I will increase the armor a lot as you can see the damage he's doing it does decrease as you increase the armor and my health is going down and, it, and as you can see the uh, chat window does say and I just used a potion and he can't even attack me as you can see this is uh, he, he can't overcome my armor well you know in the future oh the mobs will have different levels so you know the low level mobs won't even attack you that much like what, you, what you're seeing right now and that's about the armor and actually I'll show you another fun feature and I got strength I'm just gonna increase that well, I will just hit one and you know, decrease this by 55, so actually 16, and I'll increase the strength a lot. As you can see, it, it, it does upgrade, I mean update, in the character window, and that's a bug. And you can see damage increases, and the physical defense increases, and the health, as you can see, it increases by one for each strength you spend for a melee character. Okay, let's attack him and see what happens. Boom, he's dead with one hit. And he dropped the loot and two health potion and a mana potion. As you can see, they are random drops. It's not like, you know. And one hit, boom, he's dead. And I think the quest is complete for us. As you can see, the health increases. It's the uh, out of combat health generation, which which depends on the uh, the amount of uh, amount of blessing you got you got and I'll just increase the blessing and it also increase the mana increase the real power too because it does it, it still adds up I mean it adds uh, a little bit to the uh, out of combat mana and health generation as you can see that mana is increasing right incredibly high now let's turn the quest in and there you go we're done and let's just sh I'll just show you guys you know how the other other features work find an enemy there he is I'm just gonna have him attack me for a second oh, I think it's gonna take a while well let's uh, sit there and enjoy the long wait time the slow death So I uh, well, I just want to take this time to uh, tell you guys about the uh, skill system of my game. It's totally different. You will not have any classes.
first first when you actually start the game you will start with four four initial spells I'm not gonna explain everything right now but uh, you will start with four spells for four classes well it's warrior mage priest and uh, and what else actually hang on it's a mage yeah actually, I mean hunter yeah warrior mage hunter and a priest and they will you will have four different spells for each classes and you will not have any classes what you do is to up update all actually upgrade all the spells and you'll get more different spells the the profession the class that you uh, you know choose to take as your primary class you can then after update you know each uh, each spells and become more powerful and if you want to become a warrior all you gotta do is just spend lots of points in the melee skill that you get initially and as you spend more skills more more points you'll get different spells and you know in the future you will have the option like you know like let's say level 20 will have the option to become a knight or a paladin and then you will have as you can see I do have uh, a an unknown attribute it's an ancestry point it is used to fuel uh, some of the more advanced uh, uh, spells that you will get in the uh, in the uh, end game. Okay, and the health does increase by by a lot than before. The before was increasing five health per second. Now it's increasing a lot, and that's it. That's uh, that's the whole thing I was gonna show you guys. And the agility since I'm not a hunter it's not gonna well you know reflect any you know a lot of uh, stuff it does increase the damage by a little since you're a warrior since you're a melee class well which is I am it's gonna increase uh, by a little if you're a ranger I mean a hunter for example and the damage will increase by a lot and once you, well, once we get the gears which will which I will have it by the next video I hope I will then you can see all these uh, stats you know, taking a part of the of your life and uh, the willpower there's no mana used so you know there's no usage for, for, it, for it right now and the physical defense and magical defense uh, does not work at the moment because I did not add any any scripts uh, for them so you know the, if you, the more physical defense you you, you have uh, the, the you know actually the more physical physical defense you have the less damage it will take from a physical hits you know and magical defense same way with magical hits but uh, right now it will not reflect any of those effects right now or the critical chance also you w there's no critical hits at the moment but uh, in the future as always, I'll have some. And uh, if you got any feedbacks, any comments, or anything else, just uh, drop a comment. And thank you for watching my video.